In this lesson, we'll only need to use a handful of tools. First off, we'll be using a selection quite a bit. Uh, we'll, depending upon what mode you are in, we'll determine what uh, elements you are selecting. If I'm in edges, for example, and I mouse uh, and drag over uh, some edges, it selects those edges, of course. If I'm in polygon mode and I mouse over, it pre-highlights uh, the polygons that I want to select. Just click the mouse and hold and drag the mouse around to paint select multiple polygons and the same with vertices. If I want to select something that uh, might be a little tricky or something behind, for example, if I want to select this, uh, this edge here, uh, but I'm viewing it from an odd angle, I can always uh, use a lasso selection and that will select through to that particular edge or component depending upon what component uh, mode I'm in. All right, so uh, yeah, so lasso selection we'll use quite a bit. Also, um, we'll be using the uh, scaling feature here, scale, and the, the move tool, which is uh, the W key. And scale, of course, is R, the R key. All right. Um, along with that, we'll be using uh, edge slide to work on some of this model. So if I go over to my edges and the edge slide tool is right there, or it just simply hit the S key and that will invoke that tool. And I click and drag in the uh, viewport to, uh, to move or slide that edge along those polygon contours. Okay. Uh, we'll also be using add loop, which is, I'm going to drop this tool here. I'm going to be using the add loop, which is right there. I, mouse over an edge and it pre-highlights the polygon loop there that it will cut and uh, if I just click on that uh, edge there it allows me to place by dragging the mouse I can place that edge wherever I want along uh, the, that perpendicular edge there. So that's another tool we'll be using. Uh, let's see how about uh, the subdivide tool. Oh, before I get to that let's let's uh, go to this edit tool right here which is the polygon slice it's another way of cutting through your model and this will give us a straighter edge cut there if I do that and you can see it sliced a nice edge through the entire model we will also be using the uh, subdivide tool and and that is the uh, shift D if you're in a component mode shift D and you can subdivide your model, either Faceted or Catmull Clark. Those are the two that we'll be using. Um, if I click Faceted mode, you see it just divides every polygon in half in both directions. Uh, the other tool we'll be using is the Element Move tool. This is one of my favorite tools of all time. Let's go over to the uh, Deform toolbox here, right at the very top. And I don't have to have anything selected. I can just mouse over a particular element and move it, um, click and drag that element. So that's a really good way to nudge uh, individual elements and it works with vertices, it works with polygons, and it works with edges, all right? And of course, if I right click my uh, mouse in the anywhere in the viewport and drag it to the right, it increases the influence of that tool. So I can grab a whole bunch of polygons at the same time. It's very intuitive and very easy to use. Uh, similar to that will be the element push and that does the same thing. I can increase or decrease the amount of influence that that has but if I bring it all the way down to zero it, it'll only affect that particular element that I'm over the top of here. So if I click on that you notice how it moves that selected element perpendicular to its it's plain here. So if I'm, let's try this uh, polygon right here. You can see how it moves that polygon in that direction. I'm going to increase the influence. Uh, let's go down here and uh, let's move that out. You can see how that works. So yeah, it's a very, very cool and uh, very intuitive tool. Another one similar to that is push. And in this case, you do have to have uh, some elements or uh, multiple elements or a single element selected. You click on the push tool and then click and drag 
and that limits uh, the push to just those those particular elements. So as you can see, it is moving those elements perpendicular to the plane of the surface normals that they are resting on. So those are the only tools we'll be using to build this uh, model, and it should be quite easy. And let's get started. Mm -hmm.